We all hate seeing error messages when we're writing a formula, um, especially a formula as as complex as query, where there can be any number of things wrong with it, uh, and it can be super confusing to debug them, especially if you're just getting started. So I thought I'd put together some of the um, the common error messages that pop up with Google Sheets queries. Um, they're ref errors, value errors. Let's just scroll down a bit here. And the old NA, uh, which I, I always hate seeing. So let's just go through what these errors mean, what some common causes of them are, and how you can fix them if they pop up for you. Um, so first starting with, with ref errors. Those, um, those generally have to do with not, not anything wrong with your query itself in terms of like the string that you wrote out. So if we take a look, the, uh, the kind of select where group by that whole string. Generally, ref errors have nothing to do with that. Generally, they have to do with something else going on in your sheet, whether it's you know the data range that you're selecting or something else. So one that pops up all the time is if you have other data in your sheet, it'll throw ref error because it will overwrite that data by running the query, um, and it doesn't want to do that, and it can't doesn't overwrite data for you. So say we have this this two here. It won't run the query if it has the two there. So that the it won't <laughs> array result was not expanded because it would overwrite data. That's an easy fix. You just delete the data there, uh, and the error will go away, and the query will run. So yeah, just if that happens, just look for the cell, and your answer will be there. Uh, the second ref error is unresolved sheet name, and that can pop up if let's crack open the query. If your sheet, if your data range here isn't in highlighted in a color, usually orange, um, you know that it's not an actually it's not actually a sheet, uh, a tab in the sheet that you're working on, um, and it won't be able to run that. So just make sure that your your sheets are always colored in to avoid that that error. And see the runs properly now. So the the value error is a little bit trickier. These are generally errors, like if you look at this, let's just look through all this this text quickly. That looks pretty confusing. Um, and these are errors in the actual query itself that you're writing. So like the, the text section. So it's not an issue necessarily, although it can be, with your data range, it has to do with your query. So let's, and this one, yeah, these are these are a little bit simpler, but this first one's pretty confusing. Um, parse error encountered at where at line one, column 19. Okay, that's confusing because you don't have columns here. Um, so that's something that's referring to the actual code. So you can ignore that column number. Um, was expecting one of, again, this doesn't really mean much to me because um, if we encountered where. So our problem is somewhere around where. Uh, okay, so what we see there is that there's a comma, a hanging comma at the end of the select statement. So I guess what it's saying is, okay, it's expecting another text. <laughs> okay, well, that's another error, but <laughs> another text function when in reality you had a comma there. So if you delete that comma, it will fix the issue. Um, but having the comma there, it was expecting another column. It wasn't expecting the where statement. So generally, if that if an error like that pops up, just look, trace around where it's calling you out. And in this case, it's literally where. Look through the where and just like, does anything look funny here? And we find the hanging comma. Um, the call not in select. Okay, so this is another value error. And let's see what's going on here. So it's saying some C, which is a column that we're labeling, isn't in the select. So we, we're labeling a column that we're not even specifying here. And that's what cause, what's causing the error because we have a typo. We have some C, some D. Or actually, let's do this the other way around. Some C is mislabeled, and it should be some D. So if you see that, that uh, works properly now. Let's see, our third value error, no column. Uh, 
unable to parse query string for function query parameter two, no column D. Interesting. So when this says sum D here, select C sum D, you'll notice in our data area, let's zoom in a little bit here, actually. No. Um, in our data range, we're selecting A through C. So column D isn't actually in our data. If we add it back to our data, we'll see that works. Um, and I noticed an error pop up that I'm going to add in quickly here. Let's just do this on the fly. And it was the no, no group or ag. And that's a really important one that we should talk about. Okay, so I'll just add that in and let's get this air going. So what to do? Let's see, let's delete this comma and let's see what pops up here. Okay, add call to group by or ag B. So let's just add that in so you can see that later. So what that's saying is column B is selected here, but since we're grouping by column C, and we're, we're summing column D, any column, if we're grouping and we're doing this summing, any column that's in the select, just move this around to BC to be less confusing, um, has to also be in the group by uh, element. So you can't say BC sum D and then just group by C. You have to group by B and C um, if you're gonna mention these two there. So if you see what that does, I know it looks weird with the, the lines here, but that'll group by both column B, which is the tweet, and column C, which is the handle. So let's undo that. Uh, and our last error here, the old NA query completed with an empty output. Um, so what that means is that there are no results for your query. Um, whatever criteria you're selecting here, is too narrow or it doesn't match up with you know in all of these we're we're querying this sample twitter data here like i do for all these tutorials um let's see uh it just means that your criteria is too narrow so in this case we're selecting where retweets is equal to 100 well we don't we don't have any of those so let's try retweets equal five okay now we get we get a uh we get a tweet, as you can see. But if we're, yeah, if we're selecting for retweets equal to 100, we're not going to get any results. So if you, if you return an empty output, just check, are you being too restrictive with your query? So I know that's a lot to go through, but come back to this if you ever um, have errors in query and want to see like what what to do with them necessarily. Like I mentioned at the beginning. There's three types of major errors. There's ref errors, value errors, and the old NA. Um, and yeah, these about seven variations are are the ones that I the error messages that I see popping up um, most frequently. So hope that's helpful. If you want to learn more about query, you can grab the uh, the cheat sheet from the link in the description to this video. Take care.